Hello everybody, this is meteorologist Andrew Panero outside for this week's weather podcast. So it's pretty nice out now, beautiful skies, a little bit breezy. It was breezy yesterday as well. We had some, I think up to 40 mile per hour winds. There's also a tree I do want to show you here. This tree, pretty big tree, lots of tall branches. There is one very, very tall branch that actually fell. It made quite a big thud. I watched it fall. I have a uh, security cam footage of it. I'll, I'll upload a little bit later. But it fell right down here, put some holes in the ground. It was about four inches thick, and I couldn't even lift it by myself. I had to get the chainsaw. So all these branches, you definitely have to be careful with that with any of these breezy conditions. But boy, does it look gorgeous out there. Nice bright blue skies. Lots of greenery here. Everything filled in quite nicely. So we are seeing a little bit more spring-like with uh, some nice flowers out there as well. The trees filling in. Summer's not too far away, just about two months away, which is quite nice. But the temperature's just not there yet. Temperature's pretty much right around the 60 degree mark, which is comfortable, but a little bit chilly for some. We're going to be seeing these steady temperatures over the next couple of days going into about Saturday, but we got quite a bit of rain coming, more so Friday. going to be lasting throughout the day on Friday, and we could even see maybe a rumble of thunder throughout the day, or hear a rumble of thunder throughout the day, I should say. Then Saturday, some lingering showers. Sunday looks to be a bit more in the afternoon with the showers, but a little bit of cooler temperatures. Won't even get out of the 50s, so it's definitely going to be a little bit cooler, chilly, depending on exactly what kind of temperature range you like. Monday will also be pretty cool or chilly with the temperatures in the 50s. A little bit of a shower action in the afternoon, but that's about it. Nothing like Friday. Friday is the heaviest day with the rain. Then going into Tuesday, much nicer day. Temperatures do go back up a little bit into the 60s. Then Wednesday again, looks like we're going to have a bit more of a shower kind of day, but it's going to be pretty steady with those temperatures. So now let's head over to the computer here and I'll show you some sat rad and a little bit of the forecast models to get a bit more detail. So right now, satellite pretty clear out there. Had some clouds earlier today, but they've broken up pretty nicely. Nice clear skies out there. On the radar, it does look like we're going to have quite a bit of rain. Dry period for now, for today, the rest of today, tonight, and tomorrow. That's all this dry air there. But on the left side of the screen that I'm pointing to, quite a bit of heavy rain making its way in. So now when we take a look at the forecast models, so today again, very nice, a little bit breezy with those tight ISO bars there. Then tomorrow, it's high pressure does move in late tonight to tomorrow, so it's gonna be keeping everything dry. However, as that makes its way out, clouds come in ahead of that rain. So by Thursday night, this is right there, that's 2 a.m. We're seeing these quite breezy rain, bright, quite breezy uh, winds out there. Late Thursday into Friday. Then for your morning commute, we're starting to see the heavy rain already. Right there, thick uh, green, and also quite tightly packed isobars. If you remember, I've been talking about those the past few weather podcasts. That's because we're going to have breezy conditions. The tighter this is, the tighter the gradient. And that gradient is what's going to cause some very, very breezy and windy conditions. It's going to be a raw, nasty kind of day for Friday. We're even seeing some heavy patches of rain there. So there could even be some thunderstorms throughout that day. Then going into Saturday, a little bit of a break, but some lingering showers are going to happen throughout the day. Still temperatures fairly seasonable around that 60 degree mark, but then Sunday, still some showers. So this is the afternoon, more so in the afternoon with the showers, but cool air. And if you, if you even notice right around the Great Lakes there, that's some snow mixing in. We are not getting this, and I'll repeat, we are not getting any of that snow. However, it's going to be cooler. So we're going to be seeing a cool rain, which isn't really that comfortable rain. After that, we're seeing on Monday, maybe a bit more shower action. It's not really showing anything on this forecast model, which is the GFS forecast model. But it is possible to see some lingering showers throughout the afternoon. Tuesday looks like a nice day. So when I fast forward to Tuesday... This is 2 p.m. Tuesday, nice dry conditions, a little bit warmer again, right around the low to maybe mid-60s. But then for Wednesday, 
that's when we're seeing a bit more shower action coming through. So overall, the next couple of days, or at least for the good chunk of the seven day forecast, it looks like we're gonna be having quite a bit of rain. And this is the nail I'm gonna show you next here. So clear today, clear tonight, high pressure moves in overnight tonight to tomorrow. Then as that starts to make its way out, increasing cloud later half of the day on Thursday. Then Friday is where we're starting to see, right there, the heavy rain throughout the day, maybe some rumbles of thunder as well. This is now 2 a.m. Saturday, so lingering showers there, lingering showers throughout the day and the afternoon, going into Sunday, and this is 2 a.m. Sunday. This is about as far out as the NAM goes, but another little quick line of some showers will be making its way through on Sunday afternoon. So the all-important seven-day forecast, Ooh, let me hide that there. So comfortable 60s throughout the next couple days, but look at these cold temperatures overnight in the 40s to the mid 50s. It's not gonna be too pleasant, especially when you take a look at the overnight low Sunday night, 41. There probably will be some frost advisories by then, so definitely be cautious with any plants that you're planting out with the spring, or if you can, bring them in. Otherwise, just cover them. Then, quite a bit of rain and thunder for Friday. Saturday, some showers lingering throughout the day. Sunday showers more so in the afternoon, but that drop in temperature back into the 50s, not even getting into the 60s at all. Monday also spot showers, pretty much throughout the afternoon there's that spot shower chance, otherwise partly cloudy, still cool with that high, about 58. Tuesday the temperatures get back into the 60s, much nicer day, partly sunny, but then for uh, Wednesday, a little bit of a shower chance again Wednesday, more so in the morning, but also the temperatures become a bit more steady in the mid 60s there. So over the next seven days, it looks like we're gonna get quite a bit of rain in some spots out there and a lot of rain, especially Friday for all of us and maybe even some of those thunderstorms. So again, beautiful today, just a little bit breezy, beautiful for the first part of your day tomorrow, then increasing clouds and then Friday starts that rain chance that lasts until pretty much Monday. Then Tuesday's nice and Wednesday, the shower chances do return. So this is meteorologist Andrew Panero. If you want to subscribe to the channel, get more weather updates, click that button below. I'll be having some other videos that are quite interesting, explaining a little bit more about, say, recycling, how the forecast models work. I do got quite a bit of a pipeline of some videos that I'll be definitely uploading. This is meteorologist Andrew Panero again. Have a great day and enjoy today and the first part of tomorrow while you can before that rain and thunderstorms make its way in.